Okay, we're going to talk about how to construct the Aztec kit. And I'd like to invite Leroy Harbach from CMC Rescue School, who's my, uh, my uh, cohort here, is going to help me put this together. How are you doing? I'm doing well. All right, you ready to do this? I am. Okay, there's lots of components here. And uh, we, we need to first kind of go through them so that you understand what we're talking about. Uh, the first uh, component is the uh, 50 feet of 8 millimeter accessory cord uh, with one end sewn and has the uh, certification on it. Uh, that's important. Then we have uh, two ratchet prussics which are bound loop, which they slide back and forth. That's very important that they do that. We have two colors for the two color pulleys that we have that we're going to include. Each one goes with each pulley. And then we also have the, uh, basically what we call a Purcell, which is going to be a shock absorber that we're gonna also put on the personal end. And to protect the lead end, the anchor end of the, of the accessory cord, we have a two foot piece of one inch tubular webbing, which I have opened up so that I can get the cord into. Okay, uh, we'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, which we've got right here. And we're gonna start with these pulleys and we're gonna show you how to reeve these basically like line workers do. It's called a reverse reeve, meaning that the blocks are juxtaposed or twisted to one another, perpendicular to one another, if you will. Okay, we also have a carabiner that we're going to use on the anchor end. That's important. And of course, we need the bag. So we'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the orange and Leroy, you can take the blue. Okay. And we'll take the, the restraint cord here and I'm going to go ahead and flake this onto the floor and keep the sewn end on the table here. So I'm just going to flake this onto the floor. And the first thing I'm going to do is grab the orange pulley and take the Beckett cover. Now before you take it off, a little trick. Notice how it's shaped. Notice its orientation before, because once you take it off, you go to put it back on, you wanna make sure that it's not difficult to do that. So a lot of people get lost at that point. And take the screw out with a Phillips head screwdriver and remember that there's a washer behind it, a lock washer. Do not lose that, keep that safe off to the side so you don't knock it off the table when you're putting it together. How many times have we done that? All right. So now I've got the Beckett cover off the side. I'm gonna take the restraint cord. I'm gonna put it on to the gold Beckett with the certification towards the outside so you can see that, okay? And then I'm gonna put that Beckett cover back on. Okay, now Leroy and I are going to reeve these blocks and they have to be a particular way and you can see that I've got mine oriented so that the Beckett is on top. He's got his turned sideways so the shivs are vertical, mine are horizontal. So I've got the other end of this restraint cord, it's already attached here so the other end is going to go to Leroy and go in the top side nearest shiv. So you can take a look at that. Kind of turn it sideways and you can see what we're doing right now. We're going straight into the top. It's coming out the nearest side on the bottom and I'm gonna to come to the nearest side on the bottom on mine as well. So I come out and I come around and I'm gonna pull out a couple of feet and I'm gonna put on at this point, makes no difference which way this is configured, this bound loop prusik. I'm gonna put it on here now and then hand it to Leroy I'm coming out of the bottom, far, the, the farthest away from us. Same thing with him. He comes in the bottom, out the far side. We put on the orange at this point and come around. And I'm coming in the same as he has on this side. So there we have it. Oh, okay. And now we're reaving it. We're pulling all the slack through. It's flaked on the ground. And we're reaving these. Come on through. Pull it a little bit tighter. Now we have it. 
So now we have reaved these blocks properly. I'm going to check it by putting my hand in between the top and the bottom and running it across to make sure that it's, there's no crosses in the rope. Also vertically, I should have no crosses in the rope as well. That confirms that I have reaved them properly. Now we can dress them down, and now you can see we have a reverse reeve jigger in our hands. Now we need to configure our two prussics. Remember that the blue goes with the blue pulley, and the orange goes with the orange pulley. So the first thing I'm going to do, since these are bound loop, is I'm going to address, I'm going to slip them so that the hole at the top, which is eventually going to, to pin into the pulley, that needs to be as small as possible. So I slide it down so that I have the large loop adjacent to the pulley, and I want to make sure I have a three on two prussic here. So the three is going to be away from the corresponding pulley. So with the orange, I want the three away. With, with Leroy's, he wants his three away from the blue pulley. So they're actually going to be opposites. Okay, so that's kind of important to remember. We don't want to put them on upside down. These three on two prussics are easily, easily released by bumping them down, which we do in a lot of the applications for the Aztec kit. So we want to make sure that that three is properly oriented. So how I do that is, since I want the three away from the orange pulley, is it's the way that I basically twist this and start the wrap of my prussic. When I go away and put this one on top and start to wrap it, you can see that I have one more wrap on the top than I do the bottom. So there's my second wrap, and here will be my third, which should give me a three on two prussic. Very tight initially, and you can see that that's constructed properly. I have three away from the pulley and two closest to it. Okay, Leroy is going to go ahead and do the, the blue one now as I hold this for him and produce a little tension here so that he can do it easily. It's much easier to, to do if you hold the rope tight. So he's wrapping this in the same way that I did on the orange one, but opposite because it's on the downside of the blue pulley. And now he's going to go ahead and pin the blue because generally, that's the one we use with the Aztec most of all. Sometimes we use the orange, but the blue is definitely going to be used in this case. So there we have it. And now we can two block this.